Ray and Melissa X and Fish Finder try to do service for three D. And uh, I'm going to mount another one, which is the element on this side. Three D, and it's going to be a hyper vision as well. So I'm going to try to mount it about here. There's the bracket. It goes this way. As you can see, the Ray Marine uh, mark is up there. So, you know, this is uh, how it's going to work. And those are the one here, two here. It's like um, RV100. So, that's the, uh, that's the uh, Axiom transducer. This is the Element Hypervision 3D transducer here. So, I'm going to try to measure uh, mark. Here's the HV100, and uh, notice uh, there's a screw here, and uh, I don't know why it didn't come with it, and I just cut. This was a um, about one and a half inch uh, screw that I had, and I just uh, drilled this. I don't know why this didn't come with a screw, but anyway, so I just uh, found one with the fine thread, this screw from one inch to I think it's 0.5 inch or actually point I don't know three inch so I'm gonna you know lock this in okay transducer oh, that's tight that's not going anywhere for this uh, cover because this cover actually slide off, slide to the front, and then uh, the transducer may feel fall off, so I don't want that to happen. That's why I put a screw here, and um, this is supposed to go like this. Oof. There you go. The teeth is supposed to be mating, so... Um, trying to try to put it in there so they mate. There we go. Oops. There we go. It mate. Um, now as you can see here, it's supposed to go. This is the water line. And this is supposed to go this way. Okay, so the water is supposed to go like like here. And then, you know. So, I'm going to try to mark the hole, but I need to make sure it's horizontal. Okay. So, I'm going to try to make a put a horizontal ruler up here so that this is uh, uh you know horizontal so so I mark these two I mark uh, I use pencil to mark mark this hole these three holes one two and three I'm gonna mount my uh, mount my uh, holes these three holes here and uh, in this hole Oops. So, I drill bits lock in there it's probably a solid uh, Solid uh, transom. So, 
Change it to a bigger drill bit. screw up on this hole because you know I was trying to use my eyes to look here but uh you really need ruler horizontal ruler and you can see I'm way off I'm way off on that this hole should go up to here See, I'm way off. If I do it like that, then it's tilted it to the left, you know. So that hole, I need to fill that. Fill that hole. I need to fill this hole and do another hole higher. All right. Here's to tell you where I can drill it. I can drill this hole and make a lower hole. Keep this hole and drill a lower hole down here. This hole, yeah, and drill a lower hole here. I need to use the horizontal ruler before I drill these, the second hole. See that? There's the see, there is the horizontal ruler. That's why it's so important to have this horizontal ruler to to mount your transducer. You know, otherwise it's gonna go like that. You don't want that. So I'm gonna drill the second hole here. I'm gonna drill the top left hole.
I'm gonna fill that top hole. Like I said. Okay. That won't work. And then this is. Just a tiny bit, maybe too much, but I'm gonna use my stirrer to stir this thing. Then I'm gonna stick this toothpick into that tiny hole to seal most of that tiny hole you see what I meant here let me move over because that's how you plug a hole in the back of the transom and that's at least how I do it you know and then I just break this off Push this back in as deep as possible. You know, you try to try to keep the epoxy in there. Feel more of it in there, like that, and then uh. Let it uh, sit, and hopefully that will um, that'll fill the crack. What I can also do is just push it in a little bit more. You know, now you can feel the crack, fiberglass uh, holes. Okay. Use the back of this screwdriver and push that in, and I'm just gonna tape it. For now, using monster tape, and then um, when they cure, that hole should be all good. You know, so now I'm mounting, uh, I'm gonna mount my um, transducer. Um, now, three screws. Okay, now let's uh, mount these three screws and. Uh, Probably should uh, mix it with, you know, get a little bit of this. Epoxy. On there. On the screw hole. Anyway, so. There you go. Uh, the hole may not be big enough. Oh, I should not use my finger, I should use gloves. Maybe I need a better screwdriver, but it's going in. Okay, so I'm mounting the other two screws. The same thing with the other two screws. One over here. Let's see if I can push this 
soon. That's in, and now I'm just, yeah, I'm, that looks pretty good. Okay, last one. Okay, that one is tight, that one is tight, okay, okay, so that's, uh, that's all tight, now the, uh, well, we got some of it out of here, I gotta take it off. Hypervision transducer mounted. Okay. So, 